Dr. Jaffe, I'd like to ask you um, to tell us a little bit more about how quercetin dihydrate uh, can function as an antiviral ionophore. What does that really mean? Um, and how can that help people who are receiving booster shots? You know, will that be able to reverse any kind of adverse effects? So I'd love to hear more about that. Well, yes, um, many people are receiving vaccinations and or booster uh, enhancements uh, to their vaccines. And more and more people are reporting that a day or two at least after the second, third or fourth jab, they don't feel so good. These are the same people who have comorbidities. They don't smell and taste their food as well as they used to because they're zinc deficient. And we can help them correct that zinc deficiency. They have underlying cell acidosis, metabolic acidosis reflected in their first morning urine pH, which in turn means that they don't have the energy, the ATP energy in the cell. They don't have the battery function required with the proton gradient. They don't have the ability to detoxify and get the bad stuff out. And so now their body begins to be overwhelmed or choked up with hormone disruptors and solvent residues and toxic minerals and hormone, uh, sorry, and mold products or radioisotopes. So we're marinating in a sea of anti-nutrients. And one of the things that is absolutely clear is that viruses like you to be deficient in zinc. And if you have enough zinc, the, the body's immune system recycles the virus without harm to you. So there is a field called zinc ionophores. These mean molecules, they could be medicines, they could be natural products, but these enhance the uptake of zinc. And coercin and dihydrate is the safer polyphenolic form known, known, not just in the cell culture having to do with a mouse or a rabbit, but in primates and people. It has been shown that when you get coercidin in, and coercidin dihydrate is the safer form that is more bioavailable, when you get coercidin in, it brings zinc with it. It enhances the uptake and the functionality of zinc. It restores people's smell and taste. It improves their immune defense and repair function. It enhances their digestive capacity so that they can digest, assimilate, and eliminate foods without burden of their immune system. And it turns out that zinc is essential to make many of the neurochemicals and the neurohormones that life depends upon. So having the ability to use one of nature's preferred molecules, coercin and dihydrate, with a synergistic, low molecular weight, soluble orthoproanthocyanidin, OPC, is one of the smarter things you can do today to reduce viral risk, to enhance your host defenses, including mucosal host defenses, the elective protective uh, responses that the body uh, that is evoked in the body when you have enough uh, zinc and related molecules. So you don't have to reach for a prescription. You can reach for nature's natural pharmacy when you include coercin and dihydrate and soluble OPC along with your other protective antioxidants, buffering minerals like magnesium, chrome, and citrate, and other cofactors, maybe including CoQ10, mycelized in rice bran oil, and with tocopherols. So zinc is a very important member of the symphony of life. Zinc is a very important mineral. Um, and if you're depleted in it, very often the way in which your body tells you you're depleted is because of a change in the sense of smell and taste. So we want to have zinc ionophores. We want to enhance the uptake of zinc. And then we want to make multiple beneficial use from the zinc and the polyphenolic that comes with it. 
And that's why we recommend and have for decades recommended coercin and dihydrate and soluble OPC in a number of different combinations and forms. So thanks for the question.